Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about why you may want to consider using targeted collections in Lightroom Classic. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with collections, collections are a place in Lightroom where you could group together multiple images from multiple folders all together in one place. That way you don't have to go from folder to folder to folder to access those images. They're all together in the collection. Now, a collection is totally virtual. Lightroom doesn't create duplicates of the image to add it to the collection, nor does Lightroom move anything around on your hard drive. Now, most often people want to use collections because they're grouping images together from a shoot, maybe to cull them so they could have them all together uh, so they could start processing them. Or maybe they're going to create a photo book or a slideshow, or they're getting images together that they're going to send to the printer or send off to the lab, something like that. So you typically uh, would use the collection for those reasons. Now, to get an image into a collection, a normal collection, not a targeted collection, you normally, you normally would just go on an image, let's say, and you would just drag it up to the collection. Now you can see on the left-hand panel of Lightroom, uh, you have collections, so you would just drag it up to the collection. Now what makes a targeted collection special is that you don't have to do that drag and drop. You could just use a keyboard shortcut or a simple click of the left mouse button and add an image very quickly to the targeted collection. That makes it go much faster and helps you color your images in a better, more effective way than dragging and dropping. Now, by default, Lightroom has a targeted collection already. It's not in the collections tab though. If you're in the library module and you go up towards the top, under here where it says catalog, you see the quick collection? You can see that it has a little plus sign next to it. That plus sign designates that that is the quick collection. Now, if I want to add this image to the quick collection, as I mentioned, I don't have to drag and drop, although I could do that if I wanted to. All I need to do is hit the keyboard shortcut B. B is in boy. And when I do that, you'll see the quick collection will go from zero to one. So it added it to the quick collection. So you can see how this will really help you maybe cull your images or group your images for whatever reason. And again, you could do this across multiple folders. I don't have to be in the you know, same folder. I could go to a different folder and add another beach image, do a different folder, add another beach image. So they're all grouped together in that targeted collection. And by default, when you first use Lightroom, the targeted collection is the quick collection. Now I mentioned there's also a way you could add an image to the targeted collection with a simple mouse click. Now if we go down here, and I'll make the film strip a little bigger here so you can better see it. Now we already added this one. Let's go to the previous one. Let's say I wanted to add this to the targeted collection. You can see in the top right hand corner there's this little circle here. That little circle uh, is what you could use to add it to the collection, the targeted collection. Just click on that little circle and you can see now we have two up here in the quick collection. Now if you want to remove an image from the targeted collection, you could simply click on that circle again and it will remove it. Or if you're on an image, let's say I want to remove this from that targeted collection, hit the B key, B as in boy, and it will remove it from the targeted collection. So the B key toggles it in and out of the, the uh, targeted collection. Now you don't have to use the quick collection as your targeted collection. You could use any collection you like. Let's go down to my collections. Now down here you'll see I have an image or I have a, um, a collection that I call for video. Uh, for video uh, are typically images that I group together when I'm creating a video. So I'm going to make a video and I want to put images, maybe they're in multiple folders all together because I'm going to use them in that video. I typically have that as my targeted collection. To do that, all I need to do is right click right on the collection and go down to set as target collection. Now you'll see the plus sign is there. Now you'll see there's three images in it right now. Let's say I want to add this image, hit the B key. That's usually how I do it. I don't like to click on the little circle. I prefer to just hit the B key. I'll hit it and you can see now it's four. So I could go through my images, hit the B key, and if I accidentally put one in, I'll hit the B key again to take it out. Now you don't have to use 
an existing folder as your targeted collection, uh, you could create your own. Go up here or, or a new collection, I should say. Uh, so click on this little plus sign. Go to Create Collection right at the top. And then we're going to call it, I don't know, Beach, all right? And um, we'll include the selected folder. And see this uh, choice right here, Set as Target Collection. We'll click on that and click Create. Now you'll see that I'm in uh, the Beach Collection. And see that little plus sign went there? That means that that is now the targeted collection. And I'll go back to the folder I was in. And now I could go through these images, and if I want to add anything to that collection, I could hit the B key on my keyboard or click on that little circle, and I could then just quickly add them to the collection. I should show the collection. It's beach, and you can see there's three in there now. And I'll just keep hitting the B key, and we're adding these images to that targeted collection. Now I could go to the collection, and I could remove images from it from inside of it by simply, again, clicking on that little circle or hitting the B key, and we'll be removing them from that targeted collection. Now, if I want to go back and make the quick collection, which was the original targeted collection when you start Lightroom, if I want to go back to that behavior, just go back up to your targeted collection, right-click on it, and then see where it says Set as Target Collection. It has a check mark next to it. Just click on that again, and you can see that I removed the plus sign from it, and if I go up to the catalog, Quick Collection now has the plus sign again. So you could see that you could move your targeted collection around. Notice it didn't take the three images that were already in my previously targeted collection, the Beach Collection. It didn't take those and move them into the Quick Collection. So I could then go through, let's say I'm grouping together a bunch of Beach images. I create a collection I call Beach. I make it the target collection when I create it. And then I go through like six different folders of different beaches and I hit the B key on images I want in that collection. Now I want to create a targeted collection of waterfalls. So I'll create a new folder of waterfalls, make that the targeted collection. It won't move those beach images into the waterfall collection. It keeps them in the beach collection. And then I could go through all those waterfall folders I have and add waterfall images to that targeted waterfall collection. So you could see how targeted collections really help your um, workflow, could really help you uh, work through your images very quickly, group them together for whatever reason. Whenever I create a book, I create a targeted collection to add images to my book. If I'm creating a slideshow, I do the same thing, although I don't do slideshows too often. I did maybe one a year. I did one last year, I know, but again, you'll do it. You'll put them in the collection. Uh, then you could jump over to the develop module and you could start working on your images that are in your collection. Or as I mentioned, if I was going to create a book, I could jump over to the book module and so on. So targeted collections, um, if you don't use them, consider it. I think you'll find they're very useful. Thank you. Everyone who watches my videos, I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.